G'day viewers and welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'll be doing this Bedford Refuse truck, which was manufactured by Dinky from 1948 to 1965. That's 17 years. Now this is one of the earlier ones. Uh, it's at least post-1953 because of the casting differences, but it's pre-1961 when they started adding plastic glass to it. And shortly thereafter they changed the sliding doors to plastic as well. Now this one's complete except for the rear swinging door which you might have noticed missing but you may also have noticed a plastic bag in there which has a replacement part kindly provided by the toy's owner, my father-in-law Paul. So we've got everything we need. The winding mechanism is jammed as well but we'll fix that too. Let's get it apart. It's quite a complex toy, this one. There's 10 times the parts that are in any of the normal builds, especially last week's. Um now these two rivets, and one more rivet inside here. The only rivets that hold this toy together. The rest of it's by uh, metal tabs and bending things over. So that's kind of cool. Couldn't decide if this base plate was supposed to be painted or not, but I've cleaned it up and I'm going to paint it. Now you might think I haven't stripped the paint here, but this was how much the paint came off after stripping. It still had a coat all over it and anyway I wire brushed the rest of it off. And I'll gently belt the base plate back into shape. Now I'll clean up the winding mechanisms and I bent the little arm back into shape a bit and hopefully that'll help it all work as it should when it goes back together. Now I hate to think what's in this paint. It's probably lead based or something like that being this old, but um, so always wear a mask and always wear eye goggles. I do. Now I've run out of TS29 uh, Tamiya Black, a semi-gloss black. This is the last can I had. Nowhere I can find in Brisbane or on the north side or south side has it in stock. So I'm gonna have to try and get it online, I guess. Yeah. 
Now your regular viewers might notice the Dodge truck chassis in the background from last week's video. I used the same green for the doors on the refuse truck. It seemed pretty close, so save some paint. Now I made a new hinge for the rear door with a paper clip. Bent straight and sort of cut to shape and made to fit and it did the trick, it's working well. Now it's too shallow here for me to tap the hole for the middle rivet for this bracket that holds the sliding doors in. So I'm going to copy it and just glue it in. I figured, well, it's got the two tabs to hold it up as well, so it should be okay. It should have been. So it dries and I'm bending the tabs over and we get first tab over, oh awesome, good job. And then I'm bending this one, oh geez that's snapped a bit, I think it'll be okay. Mm, no it won't, I snapped it right off and I can't begin to tell you how pleased I was. If you watch the end of the video you might catch a glimpse of how pleased I actually was. Oh, anyway, it still works okay. I just put the axles in, I thought, no, you better check, Peter, to make sure they're not different sizes, and they are different sizes, but that's okay, I had it around the right way. You get the back one in, we start getting this thing back together a bit more solidly now. Now, I think I bent the base back into shape not quite as well as I should have, because there's a little bit too much play in the movement of the winding mechanism, uh, so that might be something I'll review at another stage. And here we are, bending those tabs back over for the base. And I managed not to snap these ones off. <laughs> Bit of sewing machine oil just to put on the mechanism, just to help it keep going. And screwing that base back into the, the tipping component. Now I'm going to touch the paint up. I scratched it in a couple of places when I was putting it on. That's okay, it's why we keep extra paint, isn't it, people? And we are done. Let's go back to the start. And here we are. Not in terribly bad condition, really. I mean, yes, the paint is buggered. That back door's been snapped off. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. The tyres, I ended up replacing them all. The I noticed one of them didn't match, so it's had at least one replaced at some stage. But anyway, I digress. This is what we started with, and here's what we've got now. Looking much better, I'm sure you'll agree. The paint could have been a couple of shades lighter, but overall I'm quite happy with the match on this one. Uh, the mechanism works again, and it'll look nice on my shelf. Uh, looking at it now, it looks like the base may have been a little bit bent, or it may be the angle of the box that's making it look worse than it is. But overall it's pretty good, I'm pretty pleased with this one. So thanks for watching everybody and taking the time out of your day to spend 10 minutes with me. Uh, hi to all my regular subscribers, thank you for sticking with me. Welcome to our new subscribers, they're climbing a little bit each week and I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate any feedback you can give me, things you can see that need improving or if you've got some tips for me, they're all welcome. So if you've liked watching this video, why don't you check out one of these other videos that I've got for your viewing pleasure. Uh, if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, I try to have a new video every Friday and failing you know the delivery of parts and everything sometimes they get better they might get worse but you'll never know if you don't come back and if you'd also like to subscribe just click on my head there and 
hopefully we will see you next week. Thank you very much. Oh, you've 